Hey folks, Andrew from OpsLevel here. Today I'd like to introduce you to a brand new feature we're launching called Custom Actions. With Custom Actions, OpsLevel admins can create self-service experiences uh, for developers. We're looking at a list here, so let's jump into one action and see how it's configured. So with a custom action, an OpsLevel admin can control uh, what service it applies to, um, who can trigger that action. So everyone, service owners are only admins. Um, they can leave an action in a draft state if they're still testing and uh, working on the configuration. The actions also support manual submissions from developers. So things like pick lists, uh, names, etc. cetera. Uh, and then the action is programmable. So um, you can use uh, liquid variables to uh, dynamically insert things like repository names and slugs, service names, uh, et cetera. So you're not duplicating actions and making tons of uh, sort of one-off hard-coded actions. Um, this particular action is going to open a pull request in our link repository. Uh, we'll see that in a minute. Uh, and you also have the ability to customize the response message. Um, so the service owner or developer who triggers the action um, can understand uh, was the request successful and get some kind of context about next steps. Let's take a look uh, at how this works from a service owner's perspective. So here on the service detail page, uh, I can click actions and see um, what actions are available for this service. Uh, I'm gonna click this one we just looked at, create PR. There are no manual inputs for this one, so I'm just gonna hit execute. Awesome, and we got our results. The PR was, was opened and we can view it here. Let's do that now. So here we can see the PR that was opened by our custom action triggered an ops level. Um, but this is just kind of scratching the surface of what's possible with custom actions. If we jump back into ops level, you'll see some of the other uh, examples or ideas we have of, of actions you might try out, creating new buckets in your infrastructure, uh, locking or unlocking deploys, rolling back a deploy, triggering, triggering incidents, um, the possibilities are really endless. Uh, if you'd like to um, see a, a more detailed step-by-step -step review of how to set up a custom action, uh, we've got some great documentation on our website that will help you do that. Um, and if you're not yet an Ops Level customer and you want to check us out, please visit, please visit us at OpsLevel.com to learn more. Thanks for watching.